that doesn't get a lot of love on my page are drawer faces. I just, they're not really that exciting, but uh, they're super important. Anyway, this has got a quick coat of pin after it's been sanded. And uh, I back brushed a really quick coat this morning of that Gemini product. And so this is how I do it. It's already been brushed once with Gemini and then once uh, again with Ben. I'm looking for little bubbles like that to pop up. So when little bubbles like that pop up, I just lay it, make sure I lay enough in there my brush flat, and I'm just kind of rolling it over the tops. Then I hit it one more time, and boom, that is ready. In a couple hours, it'll be ready to stand. DeAndre, I want you to tell me, tell me what, what you've done to that door so far. Uh, we washed it with a cut cutter. Okay. We sanded it. We tied me on. What'd you send it with? We sent it with oh uh, one twenty. Yep. Oh, uh, we vacuum it. Then we tapped it, calmed it, sand, vet, tap, calm. And then we sanded it. Yep. And then what? Um, back it. Uh. Uh, prom it. We'll prom it again, and then we'll probably do what? Paint them. Well, we'll sand them and then clean them and then paint them. We, we bend prime this. Like you said, I'm not going to go over that. We did the bend primer for a couple of reasons. The main reason is that uh, the Gemini doesn't have the adhesion to some of the existing varnish that was on there. So even though we sanded the varnish down I, uh, for a mechanical adhesion, I need a chemical adhesion. And that's where the bend came in. I grabbed that... Um, the uh, Gemini undercoater that, that Jay Donnelly left me and I just back brushed, um, you know, and, and, and the thing is, is when I back brushed it and I got back into it, it would, it, it was still, it was there. I, I, I don't know if that makes sense. I'm really trying to work on my wordage, but you know, I would spray this corner and I would brush this corner, spray and then brush, spray and then brush and spray and then brush. And when I got to the end, it, it was built up. I didn't just you know, re-wet so I could lay coats on top of each other, which is, it's, it was, and it was about twice as thick as the bin was. Thing is, is these oak doors, I'm telling you, uh, they had some of the worst grain I've ever seen. And then anytime you sand through any type of varnish and we sanded down to bare wood here, here and here, um, you open the grain back up. So, uh, when we hammered it with, uh, the Gemini, uh, I thought there would be a bunch of brush marks to, to uh, sand out, but there wasn't, was there, DeAndre? No. There wasn't any brush strokes. It leveled down perfectly. So this morning, we just took some 120 on the festival, kind of an older piece, and we just straightened the waves. And some of the high spots, we opened the grain back up. It happens. I mean, it does. So knowing that I've got to run these back through, I didn't spend a ton of time Um the other thing is the Gemini does not block tannins. So I knew that I would just use the Gemini as an intermediate coat because you can stand on it in 30 minutes. Uh, it built up wonderfully. It, it really had good edge control. It didn't just, you know, run down. And I guarantee you I put six or seven mils on it. And it dried just wonderfully. And it sanded like powder. It was amazing. Um, so now I'm just going to go back. Can you get a really good shot of that? So... I can hit that a bunch of times, but watch what happens. Watch what happens. They pop. So, you know, the only thing that I have to do there is just, you know, back brush it. It's pretty basic. I mean, it's not like rocket science. Uh, but the thing is, is that if... You know, I have rules. The bin has rules. And its rules is um, that you can only mess with it for so long. 
Uh, and then if I wanted to, I could hit it again. And then just kind of give it a second as I check my edges. I always want to make sure the uh, edge where the handle is, is full. And then just a little bit of popping there, just a little bit. I mean, honestly, if I wouldn't have been talking, I could, you know, run these through in a matter of, you know, minutes, all of them. And then we can sand that by hand with 320 when we're done and it's perfect. So I'm just going to go through and um, especially the ones that are going white because mm -hmm. there, there's four that's going gray. So, I mean, I got 20 doors. And they're pretty much perfect. Look, just right here, a little, a little spot, a little spot there, and a little spot there. No big deal. So I'm just watching for air bubbles to pop. Now, I'm going to tell you, this isn't a money-making system here. This, I would save this for your own personal home. But um, the thing is, is I want to be able to do it. I might not want to do it for a living, but I want to be able to do it. I need bad oak doors that, you know, need a little bit of love. And so if, if we had, if I had the Andre Hennedy these doors, we would be done in a matter of minutes. But where, where, do, where do you see this door needs a little love? Can you tell me? Right there. Right there? How about right there? See it? Yep. Yeah. I could try to fill that with paint, but there will always be a little bit of a variance there. So just get focus on that right there. See them little bubbles? That's perfect. I mean, I'm getting crazy with it now, but you know. That's going to flow out perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. So anyway, I just kind of want to see... Um... Oh, man. I'm just going to... Here it is. That's the bin. I mean, that... That grain is 100% filled. All I got to do... Is saying that lightly with because there's hairs and stuff that come in the primer. Tell everybody goodbye. Uh, we don't.